Welcome to a new fragrance review. Today I'm going to talk about the first fragrance I've ever made. So, fragrance is in a little bottle like this because it's just a bottle I had. It's an older color in concentration and the reason it's an alcohol in concentration it's because um, the alcohol in it is uh, of low concentration is 70 percent and it's it, at 70 percent i cannot make more than uh, an alcohol in concentration depending what i'm putting in there because it won't dilute as good would have been for example an o 12 concentration so we're gonna try the smell. When I spray it, it, smells like black licorice, like natural black licorice in deer. On paper, I'm picking a lot of tuya. And if you don't know what it's, tuya is some kind of resinous, fresh cedar. I'm picking up some uh, siren eyes, a little bit of mint. That's about it. And when, what I pick up on my skin is mint and black licorice. It's really a strong black licorice smell on me. Then the mint kind of disappear and it get replaced with patchouli. And then the black licorice finish to disappear too. Bring more patchouli into the fragrance and then it became some musk and patchouli. And the ingredient I use there are all, are all natural ingredient. There's not even one synthetic ingredient. I had used mint essential oil, tuya essential oil, rosemary essential oil, star anise essential oil, patchouli essential oil, and musk, uh, it's not essential oil, it's uh, if it's essential oil or absolute or something like that but it's natural musk made out of plant. I don't know if I use other ingredient in that. Maybe pepper, but I'm not quite sure. And that's basically what I used in uh, that fragrance. And it's not a fragrance that's for sale. It's not a fragrance that will ever be for sale because I lost the, the ingredients, lot, like the recipe to make it. And it's not I lost it, I just threw it away. It was not really what I expected. Yeah, longevity, it lasted 10 hours and the projection was really, uh, was not not crazy. Special for an old Cologne, usually it doesn't last long and it projects a lot, but this one it's the opposite. And I wanted to review this, this fragrance to see where I am right now, how I evolved. And I think it's important to look how you started. My goal with that fragrance, in fact, this fragrance is actually another one that I launched, which is Accomplissement pour Homme. That This fragrance was like the first ver first version of this one. And Accomplissement pour Homme, it's more of an oud, vetiver, tuya, and pepper fragrance, which, I mean, there's tuya in this one, but it's pretty much it, maybe pepper, but I'm not quite sure. So you see, I made a lot of experiments since then. I tried a lot of things to come to the point where I am with the fragrance. There's a lot of stuff that I removed. I want it to be a business fragrance and I don't think it's quite a business fragrance. It's a bit sweet, like foody kind of style or when gourmand that I don't like the name. It's more of a dating fragrance maybe or everyday fragrance than actually a uh, business fragrance. But still, it was, uh, it was a nice part of learning perfumery to make this fragrance. So, hope you enjoyed this video. If it's the case, we'll like and share. If you ever uh, tried any of my fragrance, tell me what you think about it. And also, if you want to try any of my fragrance, you have a question or anything, write it in the comment. I'll be happy to hear from you. So, thanks for watching. See you soon.